How's it going guys? Catch a craze here. And this binder of Pokemon cards has not been opened in 20 years. All right, 20 years have passed and we are gonna crack this bad boy open and see what kind of magic is inside of it. All right guys, it is time to get down to business. We got the binder here of Pokemon cards that hasn't been opened in 20 years years all right so to give you some background on this binder uh this belongs to my brother <clears throat> and i offered him uh probably i think i offered him about like a thousand i offered him two thousand about a year ago um and unfortunately i was never never able to really seal the deal with him and with the recent spike in pokemon card prices uh he's he's pretty much wants to keep it uh don't blame him um but i did tell him that you know leaving it in this binder is bad for its health um it's not good for the cards they can get curled up so um he was nice enough to, to let me do a video on on the contents of it, of the 20 year old binder and uh i am going to go through and sleeve up these cards i got some dragon sleeves i got some some penny sleeves too and i got some uh, chonky Pikachu sleeves as well from the Voltage Lead Trainer Box. Um, so I'm also joined here with Mrs. Catch a Craze. Say hi. Hey. Uh, my wife who has recently joined me on this Pokemon adventure that we're doing on Instagram. Uh, check us out if you if you haven't already. Got a lot of fun posts. Uh, we do a lot of fun reels. Um, without any more without any more teasing here, let's let's go ahead and get started here. Um, Let's crack this bad boy. So, a 20 year old binder. It's crazy. What do you think is crazy? It's crazy. That's what are you expecting to see on this this front page? Just so you know, do you think the he... front page is what people. That's what when you, when you're a kid, you put all your best cards on the front because most people only looked at the first few pages. So it's the what... energies are always on the back at the last few at the last pages. So it's like what he thought was the coolest card. So what he like thought was he the coolest was a kid in like 99, 1999. So I guess like 21 years. Maybe I'm crazy. Let's just get into it. All right. Oh. All right, guys. So we gotta see. Was he correct to think that these are the coolest cards? Oh, are yeah. they still holding up as the coolest cards 21 years later? I think so. You think I so? think these are uh, some pretty fire cards off the bat. Um, mm -hmm. You know, pretty, pretty fire cards. Now, this is page one. Now, something you don't see every day. One that is the one that's not like the other. What card doesn't look like the other? I already, I already well, pointed it out. Yeah. This is well, that one and, and, and this one, right? Ancient Mew, yep. Yeah. This is a Topps Charizard card. Okay. Very cool. I have a couple Topps cards. I don't have a lot. What does that mean? Um, I'm not the most knowledgeable on Topps, but back when Pokemon first came out, Topps is like the English, it was like the English maker of, of cards. They, they made a lot of baseball cards, I believe, oh, okay. back in the day. It kind of looks like a baseball card. Like, yeah. Like so they got into... Edge. Yeah, they got into Pokemon a little bit. I think they licensed it out, and they made theirs. I actually thought these would be just as valuable as when I was a kid. I mean, I thought they'd be just as valuable as the Wizards of the Coast stuff. But um, it's gone up, I feel like, a lot more recently because they're different, and people are just trying to find different stuff I to mean, collect. I mean, also, it's a Charizard, right? So, like, Well, yeah, I mean, the Charizard's going to be. The Charizard's. I don't think it fits in any of these. Uh, Let's, oh, no, oh, no, it does. Oh, those are a little big, remember? So. These are a little bigger, yep. Yeah. So... Let's go ahead and sleeve that guy up. I, just, I, I'm not going to look at, I don't know how to really tell condition of tops that much, but I, I think there's a little bit there. Looked like there's I mean, a little. Obviously, if it's like a little whitening or anything, it, it would. Yeah, you know. it doesn't look but bad, though. It doesn't look that bad. Maybe like a corner. They always have like a long description on it, you know, more information on the back. Yeah, it's very nice. But it's cool, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's a very detailed one. Let's, let's sleeve it up. So part of the, re the, I, I, I've been harping on my brother to, to leave up this collection for a long time. So let's let's continue with the fire here. Let's let's just go from top to bottom here. I mean, you see all these Charizards, but let's let's go through. This is a Gang, uh, Kangaskhan Hollow from the Jungle set. A little bit of scratch. Oh, yeah, you could see some scratching on the Hollow. See that? Yeah, I see it. So that, that, I mean, that happens when stuff isn't sealed. Right. But... There's not a whole lot of whitening. A little bit on the bottom. Yeah. Surface, you know, I mean, it, it, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. This is actually one of the rarer cards in Jungle. 
Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, we're going to put all the hollows in dragon shields. Okay. So this is like, if you if you were going to open a box of jungle, you would want to get a Kangaskhan, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Kangaskhan is like one of the rarer. Maybe Clefable is rarer, but I, I remember people are always trying to get Kangaskhan. So it's one of the cooler ones. Are you going to put them back like in the binder or are you going to keep them out? I think we're going to just keep them out. These binders are not good because they curl. So like the edges, wow. if you look over here, the edges, they, they curl. Right. So then it curls all the cards in it too. So like you see this, like right here, it's curled up. So that's up. why those like binders that are like all together are better. Yeah, they say the binders that are not... The three ring. Three rings are much better for preserving the cards. Okay. So and, and guys, there's a ton of there's a ton of stuff here. I mean, yeah, there's energy yeah, at the like, back, but let's let's keep going here. This is a oh careful. Yeah. This is a dark Charizard Japanese. A little bit of a crease here on the right, yeah, so that's it not good. Yeah, almost too, actually. Well, careful on touching that. Oh, Jeez, so but sorry. look at that sparkle. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Look at this right here. There's a huge swirl right here in the middle. See oh, that? Oh. Some people love love the swirl. See that? See yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, wow, so cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, that would almost make up for this little bit of a crease. I mean, beautiful holographic dark Charizard. I'm going to put, like I said, we're going to put all these beautiful hollows and sleeves like they should be. Um, you know, and I, I, I think we're going to quickly get past that. Um, you know, even with stuff, even if it's got a little bit of damage like that crease, it's still a very valuable, it's still a valuable card because of, because of how beautiful it is. And the hollow, this hollow looks really good. It doesn't look really scratched. Can you see any scratches? No, the scratching looks pretty good. It's just this, just this crease. crease. Yeah, I mean, but bad. and that would nail you pretty hard. I mean, a little bit of whitening up here. Yeah. Um, we'll go through these quick. There's a lot of cards, so. Um, I think this dark Charizard is actually yeah. non-hollow. Oh, there's no sleeve. Look at that. Yeah, this one's. Yeah, she's got a couple of them in sleeves, but of it's course actually non -hollow not hollow not holographic. <laughs> but uh, no creases. It's so good. I mean, it's a Charizard. Everyone, you know, anybody's still gonna want to get a Charizard. This one has very minimal whitening. Look at this. I can have a very fresh little. sleeve though, too. Yeah, we're not gonna use that sleeve. Yeah. It's a little, the sleeve itself has a tent in it. I mean, it's Charizard. It gets a dragon sleeve. Yeah. For the semi dragon card. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful card. There's so many of them too. Look at this. There's there's what four dark Charizards, four dark mostly Charizards. Japanese, but beautiful card. Keep yeah. it going here. Let's grab another one off the top. I'm going to guess that th some of these top cards are going to have a little bit of damage to the top. Mm. Whitening-wise, this one is beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, that one is Another, pretty... Look at these swirls up here. Yeah. The top right, like two swirls right there. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So cool. So that's the thing that can be kind of different. The swirls can be in different spots. Some people... Oh, really? Yeah, some people... I'm pretty sure I, some people can pay more for like different swirls. Really? Yeah, that, the other one was on the bottom. That one has a slight one on the bottom there. No, not really. Huh. No, That's they're all interesting. Different. Yeah, yeah, they're all different. Wow. Let's look at the back here. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit on this corner here, a little bit at the top. Like I was saying, these binders, because they kind of stick out on the top. But this this one actually is beautiful. I think yeah. very beautiful. I think when I look this card up, it's like a... I, I, I'm not sure what the Japanese, but I know the English fits like perfect. Could be like a 10. But we, we could look up some more of these later. Um, if it's perfect, or I'll put, it's a 10. But what is that? Like it's... If it was a PSA 10, you know... It could be like a thousand bucks okay. for this. It's a Team Rocket, so this is like the third, uh, a later set. It's it's not the third set. The it's like the fifth set. Pull up that. Um, hold on a second here. All right, guys, we're gonna keep going. Like I said, we just went through this uh, Dark Charizard. Very cool. Got one more Dark Charizard up here. Is this holographic? Yes, it is. Is there a different swirl? Let's see here. I can't really tell. Huh. That's so interesting how they're all different. Yeah. I, wow. I can't remember if it's just for like these later sets. Wow. A little bit of whitening at the top, but mm -hmm. overall pretty good condition, I think. Yeah. Very nice. This one doesn't really have any scratches on the hollow. Probably because it was never really played. So we'll go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up for the fourth Dark Charizard. Three hollow. Three hollow Japanese. Mm -hmm. Let's let's show those again here. These are pretty cool card here. I'll show the hollows again, so you can see all three. Oh, we got a swirl on this one right here on the bottom. Yeah, it's so interesting how they're all different. 
Yeah. It's pretty cool. I feel like it's this set. I'm not sure. I don't think it's the. I don't. I'm. I'm pretty sure it's. It's just like these later sets. Yeah. And how they did them. They have different swirls. So very cool. Already starting off with a bunch of fire. Oh, you can see. You can already see the next page. What kind of stuff we got coming up. Now, this one, less exciting. This is a base set Chansey. Looks a little, I don't know, I hope this is on the sleeve itself. All right, let's check it out. Chansey, oh, I feel like, is always scratched up. Look at how scratched up oh, this yeah. one is. Oh, really scratched up. Yeah, really? these hollows are very delicate. Yeah. You know, like I was telling him, this stuff needed to be sleeved you know back when we got it i mean I, a lot of my stuff is you know it's got some damage some edge wear you know some wear edge wear some hollow the, the actually the top is a little ed, worn corners a little bit you know and this is actually uh this is base set so i remember i was telling you this is not shadowless so oh. there, there's a this is base set there's a there's a shadow on the right here um, we're going to get into some shadowless here. So see, compare to, compare to the shadows on the right here. Yeah. These are all shadowless here, mm -hmm. but still a rare card, even in base set. Any holographic is worth preserving. Yeah. Um, they're all still valuable. They're all, you know, very rare. They don't make them anymore, you know? So very cool Chansey. Keep it going. Ancient Mew, uh, not as valuable nowadays. I mean, I think people are starting to collect these more. Um, these were given out during the movie, I believe. Yeah, I've seen these are those. promos. Like if you if you bought a movie ticket, you got you got this card. Oh really? That's this one looks really good, that? actually. Look at this. Yeah, that's really good. Because I've wow. seen those off. I've this seen those right a couple times. People um, having them. Yeah, I thought this was going to be super valuable. Look at that shine. Yeah, it's it's, it's pretty a pretty cool. it's a pretty it's neat a pretty card. Cool. It's a very beautiful card. Yeah. Yeah, you got one of these when you when you bought a ticket to the uh, movie. Oh really? Yeah. How fun. But they came in a they came in a plastic sleeve. I don't know why we took it out of it, but yeah. I'm pretty sure they came oh. in a sleeve. All right, what else do we have on this page? Uh, Jim Heroes Nitto King. Now I don't understand why this is even on this page, but holy crap, well, he is he tight thought, in there. Maybe he thought it was a cool card. Is there two it? cards here? Hold on a second. Is there two cards in here? No, there's one in here. Hmm. This bad boy. Look at this Nitto King. Oh, crap. Look at that. Pretty neat, right? He looks yeah. pissed. <laughs> I don't really see this card that often. No. Japanese gym heroes. I can't remember even who that gym... Is that Giovanni? Yeah, it's got to be Giovanni. Um, Little, little whitening on the top. You know, but overall pretty good, right? Yeah, pretty good. I think the surface looks great on this mm. one. Beautiful card. Throw another sleeve. What do you think so far? Are you pretty amazed? It's interesting. Back when I looked at this card, his collection, I remember I was like looking for shadowless Charizards, and I was like, oh, none in, you know, none. In, uh, well, I'm not gonna ruin the surprise. There's, no, there's none, no shadowless Charizards in here, but, um. You know, that was like the big thing a year or two, maybe two years ago when I looked at it. But I mean, there is a ton of fire in here. Let's let's go to, I mean, you guys can see there is two Shadowless Alakazams here. Two Shadowless Blastoise, which I don't even have in my collection. Let's take him out. Let's, let's just go straight to the, the next. Man, you are like really in there. Oh, man. He went. Yeah right out like that hmm. look at this guy that one's actually pretty good condition too like that L little scratches but yeah but not too not as bad as that um the chance he was i feel like the the centering on the top oh yeah centering on the top is off little little rough there yeah, well, the little whitening little whitening on the top but still shadowless char uh, shadowless blastoise mm -hmm. beautiful awesome awesome card look at that i this one this is my favorite card when uh, I was a kid, yeah. It's funny, you don't even have one. I know, I... I oh, wait, sorry, that's the... Yeah, yeah, just to give you guys a quick story, I've told this before on Instagram, but... Um, I traded my Blastoise back when I was a kid for a bunch of Japanese cards. Um, this exact card, not this exact card, but this type, this exact same card, Shadowless Blastoise, I traded for 
like a whole binder of Japanese cards, a dark Japanese Blastoise and a bunch of other stuff. Totally not worth it looking back. Um, so what are you going to do? At least my brother still got one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this might be so far the most valuable card, oh, really? I think. Yeah, because um, it's really not that bad. It's a it's a little a little 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 bend to it, but yeah, I mean that comes off. That will that will. I out. think it'll cut. Yeah, look at, but it's still like got a really good shine to it. Yeah. It's 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 in great condition. Yeah, I think. Is, yeah. I mean, for something that's over twenty years old, it's, well, it's yeah. pretty solid condition. I'm gonna come try and get him a little further in there. Hold on, I push him down a little more. So, um, very very cool. We'll keep going here. I don't know why Goldine is here. Let's just take Goldine out. Oh my gosh. Oh, first edition though. I didn't okay, even notice okay. that. First edition Goldine. Not nothing crazy. A little bit of whitening. I feel like that's like the one you get and um Put you in a... trash. Twenty four seven. Champions trash. <laughs> no, no, no. We've opened a lot of champions paths. Wait, so. that the fish one is like always in there. <laughs> uh what fish are you thinking of? I don't that remember. Was him. Goldine? No, I don't think she's in. She, I don't think she's in that. No, I don't know. Um, I'm still learning. I'm sorry. She's still learning, guys. All right, Hitmonchan. Look at this guy here. Oh, little couple of little scratches, but overall, look at this beautiful sparkle on this guy. Shadowless as well. Now his centering's not as bad. I mean, I guess a little bit. Of, I mean, the centering actually looks pretty good on this guy. Oh, uh, I know what I'm thinking about. It's that one that's a kangaroo. I'm sorry. What kangaroo? That's what I always think of a fish, but it's not a fish. Okay. Oh. Sorry, keep going. All right. No problem. <laughs> so, really, really, really cool Hitmonchan here. You, 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 I think you said I have Hitmonchan. You've probably seen him, right? Oh, really? A oh, oh, little, okay. little more damage on the top here on this one, but overall, what was the center on the back looking like? Not bad, not bad. Little, yeah, a little, mm -hmm. little bit, but... Dude, I'm no professional grader. So cool on that one too. Yeah, this one's got a really, really good. Nice shine. Yeah, everybody loves the. Uh, I mean, well, I mean, everybody loves the original cards just because of how valuable they are, but also like the aesthetics are I mean, it's a classic, really, 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 really cool. Classic. Oh yeah, I mean, it's like when you think of your childhood. Yeah. All right, I there is three Gyaradoses here, which is crazy. We'll start with this shadowless one. Definitely a little bit of a dirtier sleeve that it's in. Ugh, I don't even sleeve. like pulling it out of here. Oof. That was kind of like a little nerve wracking. <laughs> this guy's pretty sweet looking. Ooh, look at that sparkle, huh? Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Dragon Rage. <laughs> a little bit of whitening on the top. See, a lot of these are going to have whitening on the top in the corners. Yeah. I mean, we played with these cards, too. I mean, it's hard to um, look back. You know, we, we, we played the game. You know, cool fact about me and my brother, we went to New York City for one of the first tournaments. Oh, really? Yeah, we went and played, and I got smoked, like, the first round <laughs> by some kid that was, like, super into it and way, way uh, better, like, way nerdy prepared. <laughs> yeah, like, he actually knew how to play the game. I didn't oh, know okay. what I was doing. I just was, like, trying to get a Charizard out as fast as possible. It's what we do <laughs> with our friends. Like, we just tried to... Um, Oh, you like play for a card? Um, so let's do a quick little learning uh, lesson here. Sorry. No, you're fine. Um, if you look at the card, right? So the game, this isn't really like a good game video, but you see this up here, it says stage one. Mm -hmm. So that when you put a Pokemon down, you what your goal is really to try and uh, evolve them to the next level. So this guy, the first stage of this guy is Magikarp. And then he evolves into Gyarados, right? Mm -hmm. So you're trying to get stronger Pokemon out. Mm -hmm. And then they attack the weaker Pokemon. And when you knock out a Pokemon, you get like a prize card. And if you get six prize cards, you win. Oh. So like that, I mean, this isn't a really good example because this isn't, this isn't the Charizard. But, um, you know, all right, let's, let's, let's pull out Blastoise. Where's Blastoise? Um... So Blastoise, you'd start out, you'd have a Squirtle, you'd have to evolve them into a War Turtle, and then you'd have to evolve them into a Blastoise. Oh. And then at th their final form, they, they have this much HP, right? So they have 100 hit points. Okay. And you're trying to knock out the other person's Pokemon. So, like, you read you read the ability, whatever your guy you're playing as, 
and you're trying to knock theirs out. So basically, like, when I played this game, I got knocked out like right away when I was trying to get a Charizard in play, and the guy I was facing was just like, he had like a much better strategy of on how to win, and he just like gotcha. knocked me out really gotcha. quickly. So it was very depressing. I was like, I had all these hopes and dreams of becoming a really expert Pokemon, uh, you know, <laughs> card player at like, what was I, 11 or 12? Yeah, 11 or 12. I want to, yeah, 11 when it first came out. So this Gyarados, do you, did you learn anything so far? What's different about this, this Gyarados? This one has shadow. Has a shadow, yep. yep. So it's base set. Yep. So it's base set, um, base set regular, unlimited. Okay, gotcha. Um, and like I was saying, what they did, so when they first made cards, they had the first edition stamp. Right. So like this Goldeen. The first sets had these first edition stamps. This is a jungle card, so this is a later set. But they all, but they had this same stamp. Yep. And then they made, they didn't, they just made shadowless cards. They didn't have this shadow on the right. And then they decided to change it up and add this shadow. I'd have to look up. I don't remember exactly why they switched it up, but these are much rarer and harder to find. This was the first print run, and they say it was better produced as well. So, anyways. <laughs> going through another Gyarados um very cool here we've seen one of these already so and then we still got one more shadowless one oh. but let's take a look at the back similar whitening on the top did I already say that maybe I did I don't know let's keep it going so Hold on. all right guys we're continuing on um, we got another Gyarados here. So I just looked up Gyarados and a perfect hollow. Oh, this one's not so perfect. This, oh, this one is the Shadowless. So Shadowless Perfect last sold for like two grand, 21, 2100. Yeah, for, so for perfect. like a perfect one. Yeah. yeah. But it's still kind of interesting. It's a good, it's a good way to base it. So yeah. this, this one is, is like heavily heavily damaged look at the yeah this is like not what you want to see when you're going through these a lot of damage on the corners here a lot of damage on and the hollow like fading like on the hollow yeah, don't, kind of careful, don't sorry touch i didn't mean to touch it yeah on the bottom oh, what like, happens is this um, card's printed over a holograph gram right. so, so yeah. if you flip it in the Waiting bottom on the you can see this one's the hollow played. kind of like coming yeah through. yeah it's coming through yeah yeah. So, so this one here, I mean, I'm still going to sleeve it up because oh. somebody might be completing a collection. They don't care. Yeah. Like I, I, you know, it's funny. I saw a guy on Reddit who collects, uh, like PSA ones. Like he collects damaged cards. Well, you can have a whole Cause you stat, don't spend, you yeah, spend you don't less. spend a ton. Yeah. You yeah. don't spend a ton on it. So that's like a true collector right there. He just, he wants to like collect the whole set. Well, it's kind of funny <laughs> to have all PSA ones of something, you that know, like it's, it's like you could actually, and you could get a whole set and, and still enjoy the aesthetics and, yeah. you know, every, every card that has a little damage has some, uh, story behind it. Right. So, okay. Now this card is so, so, so sick. Look at this bad boy. Clefairy. Clefairy. So cool. What is on, is that a stain? Um, no, I think that's like the background. See how the background has like um, you can see it over here too. Oh, maybe it it's is. just yeah. like the background. Maybe it's the background. So Clefairy. Very cool. Clefairy is pretty cool. Oh, there looks like there's like a mark here. Yeah, all pen the mark? Have a, Oh my gosh. <laughs> that might be a pen mark. Yeah, it looks. Listen, like it. some of the, some of these are not going to be perfect and and look a little rough, but still still a very cool card. Let's, do I look at the back? I can't remember. No. All right. Whitening. Yep. Similarly. Oh. You know, I'm not going to get into the centering as much just because. It's not. The bottom is like a little bigger than. You're trying to read the numbers? Number yeah. five. Can't see that far. Just ask me. Sorry. You're fine. All right. So, still worth protecting. Still yeah. a very cool card. It's not like, there's no creases. I mean, creases are really what you what you don't want. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to have a crease in the card. You know? Yeah. A little bit of whitening on top, so. Put that in the shadowless container. Did you look up what? Did you look up that yeah, one? Yeah, six hundred. Oh, okay. Actually, so the, not as crazy. Um, the glass choice is way more. Yeah, the glass choice, like I said, is the most valuable. Yeah. All right. Totally not blast. Not blast choice. I said this one. Sorry. Gyarados. Gyarados. Oh, it's Gyarados. Actually, way more Gary? than. He's like double the price. I bet Alec Alakazam's are really Alakazam. good too. Alakazam. I'll tell you a number because I'm not like that great with. Oh, there I'm trying it is. to be gentle with taking them out, but it's like very hard. Oh yeah, so... first edition Blastoise. Whoa. 
Yeah, first edition blast is insane. Yeah. Um, Shadowless I'll... Alakazam. This one looks pretty good. 1100 for perfect. On a Shadowless? Shadowless Alakazam. Hollow. 1100. Pretty nuts. That one's pretty good, actually, compared to some of the other. Look at that. Look at this one. It doesn't have as much scratches and stuff on the on the hollow. Yeah, this one actually looks really this good. This one actually is probably the best condition Ooh, we've yeah. seen. This Very one is good. pretty little, good. Little, little stuff on I the mean, bottom. I mean, I'm not saying but... it's a 10, but I think it could almost be... Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, you gotta remember, much, these but... cards came in $4 packs, you know? Right, so if you make $20... Oh, look at like... this. Look at this shine right no, here. Look one, at that. That one is pretty good condition. This is probably the best condition oh. card we've had so far. This might be one of the better ones. It's, yeah. it's beautiful. I mean, the thing like is, you can't, you can't 10. get these cards. I mean, perfect you can't 10. get them anymore. 1100 Yeah. We're, and we're not going to... It's A lot of people look at these things and they think... They look at the 10... And they're like, oh man, if it's if it's eleven hundred for a ten, and this one's like a seven, it must be like six hundred. No. But really, that's not how it works. There's bottoms on these things, you know. But there's also like, if something is a thousand dollars at a ten, it, at a I, six or a seven, it might only be a hundred dollars. Right. You know, I mean, it depends on the market. You know, it depends on how many people are looking for them. Yeah, but this one's depends, in really good condition. Yeah, it also depends on the population of the card. So. Yeah. Um. You know, we'll put that in the shadowless pile. But I mean, off the bat, we already have one, two, three, four, five, six shadowless cards, and one of is which is a blastoise, which is a big, a big, big card. I mean, look Blast up the shadowless blastoise. blastoise. Perfect, you know. Shadowless is sixty five hundred. Yeah. So I mean, right off the bat, when I was trying to offer a thousand dollars, a thousand probably was way too low, but <laughs> two two thousand a year ago. You know, I mean, these things have gone up a lot more over the last month. That's you true, know, that's I true. mean, a Shadowless Blastoise probably a year ago wasn't anywhere near that. You know what I mean? I think it was, that would, you know, first edition was like five grand a couple oh, years really? ago. First yeah. edition on here is almost 20,000 this year. Yeah, about a year ago, I think it was only like four or five. Wow, that's crazy how much yeah. it went up in value. So, I'll, everything has gone up. Let's go yeah. through this last Alakazam here. Beautiful Alakazam. So oh, it man. almost is interesting because like the farther you're getting into the binder, the better the cars almost look. Because the first page seems to be more damaged than this third page. It could be, yeah, it could be. You know, maybe that was more play. I can't tell if that's a scratch play, on the right but also or maybe if that's a like hair. the top of. I mean, this is his arm. Yes, yeah, dude, like... look at this guy. He's so like just focused, right? Yeah. Like, like you know, exam. yeah, and this one's not too bad. Yeah. A little bit of white, but, but you know, you're not gonna see that if you just put this. Uh, you know, what do you say? Oh, the, yeah, the other yeah, one's this one is like... pretty nice condition. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I mean, some people. So, one thing I would say is like certain cards are always like quick sellers. You know, like certain mm -hmm. cards are um, very easy to sell. You know, shadowless cards in any condition I think are very easy to sell. They're just not a lot of them, you yeah. know. Base set though, like like some of these, you know. I mean, you're dealing with a different beast, you know. There's there's way more populations of cards out there for that. So we're we're done with the second sleeve. Wow. Um, this is gonna be the third sleeve, guys. I think we're gonna we're gonna probably take a quick break here. We might break this up into a few different videos. So, um, you know, tune in for for part two. Um, I think we're gonna break this here. Part two, we're going to go through these next ones. And there is a ton more to go through here. Uh, we just don't want to overwhelm you too much in one video. So uh, come, come back and see us again. Catch a craze. Peace out. Bye.